Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Center's Dream. I am Ariel and I am here to talk about Mercury Retrograde. So Mercury went into retrograde on August 5th and it will be there until August 28th. Okay, Mercury Retrograde is in the sign of Virgo and Leo. Okay, those are the two signs that are going to be, you know, impacted. Now I want you guys to remember with just learn just about astrology in general. Think of it like pieces of a puzzle, okay, in each and every one of you. Some pieces are bigger, some pieces are smaller, but the pieces that are for you is what make you, you, and what makes you so special. So whatever works for somebody else is not going to work for you, okay? So with this Mercury in retrograde, I know people get so anxious around this time, but I want you to remember that this energy is to help you, okay? Whether it's you going back and reflecting or um, trying to organize certain things in your life or just, you know, just taking a break and becoming centered, all right? So don't let Met Mercury retrograde confuse you or cause, you know, any chaos. If you have any issues with, you know, any kind of communications, technology, transportation, and even commerce, just remember to just slow down. You having transportation issues or, um, you know, anything of that sort, it might be because, you know, your ancestors, God, are just trying to protect you from something. So take that time to just take a breather and just relax, okay? So Mercury retrograde happens about three to four times out of the year, all right? But again, use this time to feel through the energy of Mercury, all right, and what it's trying to tell you. So the planet doesn't actually go backwards, all right, during Mercury or during retrograde, okay? Because Mercury is not the only planet that goes into retrogrades. <laughs> actually, almost all the, not all the planets, but Pluto is in retrograde right now. Saturn is in retrograde right now. It's a, it's a bunch of other planets that are, that are in retrograde right now. And when I get a chance, I will do videos on those, all right? But when a planet goes into retrograde, all right, Earth is passing at a slower, you know, moving pace, all right? The outer planets or, you know, is passed by a faster inner planet. That's what's going on. The other planets look like they are moving backwards in the sky. So that's why it looks like, you know, it's going backwards, all right? So again, Mercury is in retrograde in the sign of Virgo and Leo from August 5th through the 28th, all right? And we will have another Mercury retrograde towards the end of the year, and that'll be November 25th through the 15th, all right? And that'll be in a sign of Sagittarius, all right? So back to this Mercury retrograde, all right? It will be, well, it's moved in the sign of Virgo. That's where it's at right now currently, all right? And then it will return to Leo on August 13th. And then it will remain there till August 28th, all right? So what is something that you can do? For one, slow down, all right? And focus on the, the first half, which is in Mercury retrograde in Virgo. So Virgo is all about organization, structure, order, all right? Health, all right? Your health, habits, routine, Virgo also rules the gut and the intestines. So this will be a great time for you to, you know, do a cleanse or, or whatnot. I literally, you know, did a um, enema, okay, a colon cleanse. And that is just regular maintenance that everyone should do, you know, you know, every time the season change or seasonally or however, you know, it's easy for you to do, all right? Taking care of your body, all right? Everyone has the energy of Virgo in their chart. So I'm not just talking about the sun Virgos, the moon Virgos, the rising Virgos. You all have Virgo placements in your chart, all right? So this would be a good time for just everyone, just in general, to just be doing a cleanse, all right? Um, and that will actually prepare you, okay, for when Mercury Retrograde goes back to Leo again on August 13th. So Leo is all about that creativity, that confidence, you know, that the heart chakra, 
So when you remove all this junk and this debris out of your body, you'll be able to really shine, you guys. Like I'm telling you, you'll be able to be able to think clearly, whatever creative endeavors, you know, you were doing or you were thinking about doing any business ventures or ideas, it will make sense. All right. But, you know, just take this time. Okay. You know, instead of drinking a soda or whatever, go ahead and have that tea. Go ahead and drink that extra water. Go ahead and um, get that salad instead of that burger this time. You get what I'm saying? So um, just do whatever you need to, need to do to take care of your body, okay? So you can prepare for when it goes into Leo, okay? So again, um, Mercury Retrograde is not here to hurt you or harm you. Um, pull up your birth chart to see where you have these placements. Again, everybody has Virgo and Leo placements, all right? Look to see where Mercury is in your chart, all right? Don't use this as an excuse to say, oh, it's Mercury retrograde. You know, I, you know, I'm going to argue with so-and-so or I'm just going to, um, you know, lash out. No, okay, don't do that, all right? Take this time to reflect and, you know, and just feel through the energy, all right? Pause, all right? <laughs> so that's all that I have for you all for this Mercury retrograde in Virgo and Leo, all right? Again, the dates are um, August 5th, all right? So we're already in the energy and it will be here till the 28th, all right? Much love to you all. Peace. I was waiting till the sky was falling And my breath to every single star had a light